Hello. Welcome back to YouTube. So, when it comes to backing up your data, whether your personal photos, videos, music files, or professional works, most people use an external hard disk. However, another option is a network attached storage, or a NAS. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can make a Western Digital My Cloud X4100, which is one of the latest device, or NAS. So, we will see how to log in into the web server of Western Digital My Cloud EX4100, and we will see how we can make a network attached storage device as a physical storage of your PC. Without any ado, let's start the video. This is Alexa, behalf of Zuber from Easy Robo Tech. To log in into NAS, connect NAS to your PC via a patch card. Then, change your PC IP according to the default IP of NAS. Then, open any web browser and type the IP address of the network attached storage device. If you're using Western Digital Network Storage, you will be have same web server. Here, you will have name and model of NAS. Here, you have to enter login credentials. For first time login you will not have any passwords. As you can see on my screen, there is a message at password box. That is, no password created. To create a new password, click on login. Here, you can change the configuration of the WD network attached storage device. As you can see on my screen, it's showing total capacity and other parameters. Let's go to settings. Then go to network. Then change DHCP to static IP. Once you click on DHCP, a new pop up window or wizard will open for IP configuration. Read the instructions. Then click on next. Now type IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway according to your network. Then, click on Next. It's asking for VLAN configuration. If you like to configure a VLAN, read the instructions carefully, and click on Slash Off button. Then, click on Next. Here you will have summary of IP configuration. Check it clearly. Then, click on Apply. Once you click on Apply, a new pop-up window will open. Then. Click on Save. The parameter of your WD network attached storage device will be changed and you will be disconnected. To connect again, change the IP addresses of your PC according to same IP range given to the network attached storage device. Till it updating. Let me change the IP address of the PC. As you can see on my screen, the process is completed. Now click on OK. You need to log in for these settings to take effect. To create a new login password, go to User. Then, go to Admin. Then, click on Password button. A new pop-up window will open, type new password, and, confirm password. Then, click on apply. To make your, network attached storage device, as a physical storage, we need to create, ISCSI target. Basically, ISCSI, which stands for, Internet Small Computer System Interface works on top of the Transport Control Protocol, TCP, and allows the SCSI command to be sent end to end over local area networks, wide area networks, or the Internet. 
to create iscsi target go to storage then click on iscsi then click on on button then click on create iscsi target a new pop-up window will open type any name a to z or 0 to 9 then enter size of the disk for example here i have 17 terabytes free so i will take 16 terabytes then type 16 then click on next here you will have two options for security one is none and other one is challenge handshake authentication protocol where you have to give username and password to access iscsi target to save time i will select none then click on next as you can see on my screen below iscsi target list one is started creating to complete creating process it will take few minutes As you can see on my screen, target created with 16 terabytes memory. If you observe, there is a message, that is, no initiators connected. It means, ISCSI, works by transporting block level data between, an, ISCSI, initiator on a server, or, PC, and, an, ISCSI, target on a storage device. To connect, network attached storage target, with your computer. Let's go to Start menu, and, search for, ISCSI, Initiator. Then, click on it. A new pop-up window will open. Here, you have to give the IP address of the targeted device. Let me type, IP address of my targeted device. Then, click on Quick Connect. As you can see on my screen, I have connected successfully. Now close this. And, Go to search bar. Then, search for Disk Manager. Then, click on it. Once you open Disk Manager, it's already asking for disk initialization. Just click on OK. A new disk is added. With 14,901.04 gigabytes, approximately 15 terabytes. But it's not allocated. To allocate, right click on disk. Then select new simple volume. A wizard will open, read the instructions. Then click on next. Then again next. Here, you have to assign the letter to disk. Select any letter from list. Then Click on Next. Then, Next. Then, click on Finish. It will take few minutes to format the disk. As you can see on my screen, it has been formatted. Now let's go to my computer, and, cross-check, that, the new disk is added, with letter F. As you can see on my screen, a disk is added with letter F, contain 14.5 terabytes. Hope you learn how to make a network attached storage device as a physical storage for your PC. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you for watching this video. See you in next section.